there guys, my name is Coach Sean Logs to Born Book Book for Theme Park News and welcome to the third and final Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about Silverwood Theme Park. Now this is the final teaser um, and this is quite a contrasting one, I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is going to be a very interesting video because um, we've got a couple of predictions here and there as to what it could be. Um, and I'm very excited to see what this could be um, and the official teaser on the announcement which is happening tomorrow um, And I'm going to share with you just my predictions overall my final predictions on this ride So before we get started guys make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video Go and check out our earlier updates from today as well uh, from the European theme parks and make sure you go and subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss YouTube video. Keep liking the videos and commenting down below your thoughts and opinions, as well as your video suggestions. Don't forget, we've got our merchandise showcase episode coming in a couple of days' time. So make sure you go and share your merchandise because the deadline is in a couple of days uh, before we record the video. And um, yeah, let's talk about this teaser and let's share with you my final predictions. So before I share my final predictions, let's show you the official teaser image suggesting the announcement date. So it's very, very simple, 9, 17, 20, because of course America have it the other way around, uh, but it reads the 17th of the 9th, 2020, here in the UK, uh, which is of course tomorrow, the 17th September tomorrow, 2020, and um, you know, it, obviously, you know, that, that is the new ride announcement, that is the date of the announcement, and you can see a plane carrying that banner, as well as a loop and a turn, so... You know, there's a few suggestions of what it could be, and I've got a couple of predictions as to what I think it will be. So, there we go. That is looking at this announcement teaser from Silverwood Theme Park. I swear I said 2019 at some point. If I did, it's 2020 for definite. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I think I might have forgotten I said 2019. But, it is 2020, and yes, 17th September tomorrow is the announcement date from Silverwood Theme Park on their brand new investment for the 2021 season. Now... I've got a few interesting predictions about this because I've got a couple of coast predictions and I've got a couple of attraction predictions. Now I've got two flat ride predictions and two coast predictions, so bear with me. So we're going to start off with our first, our first flat ride prediction first of all. So we're going to start off with our first flat ride prediction and that prediction is a Zamperla Super Air Race. Now the Super Air Race is one of my predictions because the Super Air Race is uh, obviously, we know it's coming to De uh, it's come to Six Flags Fiesta Texas as Dead Double Dives Fly Machines, um, and this is pretty much your sort of air race bulk top. It will raise up a little bit and go to more extreme heights. So whether this is the tallest um, of its kind in the county or, or the state, or you know whether it's the tallest of its kind in America, we don't know. But I reckon a Super Air Race could be a decent prediction as to what this ride could be. Now the next prediction is a Gerslauer Sky Roller because I think with the fact that the skyline could be different shows that a Super Air Race might not have the height advantage compared to a Sky Roller. And we know that there's already a Sky Roller in America, we know there's one at uh, Canada's Wonderland. So of course that's usually the test apart for Cedar Fair. And I think that Silverwood may have looked at that and think, you know what? Maybe a sky roller because you've got to look at the loops and the turns and it kind of matches up with both the Super Air Race and the Gerstler Sky Roller because it does twist and turn and it does invert like a loop. So, you never know. I think we could be looking at one of these in the park. Now, my coaster predictions. The first one is a RMC Raptor Coaster. This is what many people have been calling for. I think it could be as well. It won't be a ground up like a Zadra Energy Landy with the iBox track. I think it will be a Raptor and uh, as one of the predictions. And I think that because... Um, you know, you've got to look at the price tag, you know, Railblazer was around $7 million, so that's not expensive at all. Uh, they were doing the price cut one, which I believe is the one going to the water park in South Dakota, um, for 2021 as well. And, uh, you know, an RMC Raptor, compact thrill coaster, brilliant train design, you look at the Jersey Devil train design for Six Flags Great Adventure, you think, God dang it. The train design for this one, if it is a Raptor, could be brilliant. Now, my final coaster prediction is an interesting one. It's a Gravity Group Family Woody. Now, the reason why I say that is because you've got to look at a previous plane-themed coaster that has had that same kind of teaser feeling as this one does. And that is, of course, Kentucky Flyer at Kentucky Kingdom. Now, 
Kentucky Flyer, Gravity Group Woody. Uh, not the th most thrilling coaster in the world, but I think it's a good family thrill coaster. And to be fair, Gravity Group has got a lot of reviews from the enthusiasts saying it's it's more thrilling than people first thought. So I think that it is technically a thrill coaster, but not really going for the thrill coaster, more like the family thrill. Um, and of course, it's had that plain sort of style in teasing. So we're looking at that and thinking, well, hang on a second here. I think we're looking at a really potential, um, you know, K Kentucky Flyer style coaster with the, the same kind of train design, the same kind of theme, uh, but just themed around Silverwood. And I think that maybe the loop um, could be an indication that maybe this could be like Mind Blower, uh, which is like the, the Gravity Craft type one. And they've got the inversion on there. So maybe. And obviously, you know, we know about Hades 360. We know what Gravity Craft did with that. We know what Hades 360 with uh, the corkscrew. So maybe the loop might not be a loop, but it could hint towards an inversion. So I think we're looking at that, perhaps. And maybe we could be seeing uh, one of these coasters come to the park. So there we go. Let's look at my top predictions. Super Air Race from Zamperla. A Sky Roller from Gerstler. A Woody from Gravity Group. Family Thrill. Or a Raptor Coaster from RMC, or to give it the most traditional name, the Single Rail Coaster. Now it's time to shortlist either option. So I'm going to go with a Gerslauer Sky Roller or an RMC Raptor. I think the Kentucky Flyer maybe would have seen wooden supports by now. Um, and I think with the um, Air Race, with the Super Air Race, I think that the Skyline wouldn't be completely transformed by that. So I think that we're looking at a much taller ride. So, looking at both predictions, I mean, the RMC Raptor is still a possibility, you know, guys, because you've got to look at Kentucky Kingdom. They're investing in an RMC Raptor for 2021. They haven't even started work on the site yet. So, I think that, you know, Silverwood and Kentucky Kingdom will probably start their Raptors at the same time. And I think we're looking perhaps at a similar layout to what the Kentucky Kingdom one will be. And looking at the Sky Roller, again, it might not be a coaster, but it would be a perfect flat ride addition because it changes the skyline with the height of the ride. So I think we're possibly looking here at America's tallest Sky Roller attraction or this compact thrill Raptor Coaster. Whether it's the world's tallest, fastest, longest, I don't know. But I think we're looking at either one of those options. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update. Of course, the announcement is tomorrow, so I'll be doing a full analysis on this coaster, along with hopefully giving you guys the reveal trailer officially from the park. So make sure you stay tuned for videos from that attraction announcement tomorrow. And for now, guys, I am Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow for the announcement of Silverwood Theme Park's brand new ride. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.